going on guys, Ethan here, and uh, like usual, I really don't have a topic, uh, I'm kind of just going into this free running it like a boss, um, so the first thing that I could think about uh, talking was school and how parents literally try to stress you out, like, I know how I posted last week that school, you know, it's really not that big deal to me, blah, blah, blah. And then I have, like, a B-plus in a couple classes, and my freaking mom decides to go and stress me the freak out. Is like, you need to step up your grades and stuff like that, and it totally changed the whole school experience for me. The weeks have been going by a lot longer, and it's just been freaking me out, you know? I was, you know, getting a couple bad grades here and there, but it's nothing I couldn't fix, but, you know, that's not how parents think. They're all like, nah! And, uh, you know, dead space, death you all over the place. I don't know what that was. I really don't. But, um, needs to say, oh, yeah, I was going to talk about this. Um, I've been trying to, f I tried to feed my rosy boa a dead rat today and didn't work. Didn't work. So I am actually going to try to feed her a live one, not a rat, because rats are too aggressive. I mean, what I had planned was, and I'm sorry if you guys think this is really wrong, but I was going to, because the rats come in a bag, like a paper bag, something you can put your lunch in. And, you know, most normal people, when, you know, slam it against the desk or something, instant, you know, rats don't really feel anything. My stepdad's not like that, no. Uh, she took a freaking hammer and just went down on the thing. He's like, oh, I guess I, I hit it too hard because I killed it. He was supposed to stun it. And, you know, what the guy said to stun it, you're supposed to, like, hit it against your knee. Which would have seemed like a somewhat ethical thing to do because it would have knocked him out and not killed them. Uh, so my snake would have had a higher chance of eating it. But I've been doing some research, um, cause, especially because I've been wanting to get another snake. I've been doing a lot of research on the snakes that I've wanted, including the one that I have. And rosy bows actually are kind of notorious for n not eating uh, dead animals. And so since my one, my, I saw it when it was in the wild, um, I caught mine when it was in the wild, it was used to eating live already. So, um, that's not really gonna work, so I'm gonna have to feed her live. Wah, wah. Um, but, uh, I think live is much more satisfying to watch, to be honest with you. The, uh, I know it's so, like, disgusting for some people, but I like the rat, or the mouse, just kind of strolling around, you know, taking its time, things. Oh, what do you know? I got a new home. No, you got a deathbed. That's what you got. <laughs> and uh, the only thing that I worry about is that Rosa is going to get hurt in the process. Um, I know it's kind of weird. What, you're going to let the freaking snake kill the rat and the rat's not even going to get a hit on the snake? That's not very nice. It's like, come on, I'm trying to get my... And my stepdad, you know, as much as I think he's cool... He got a lot of things wrong. Like, he's like, I fed my snake once a month. Well, he had a Brazilian rainbow boa, which is a lot different than a rosy boa. First off, rosy boas are actually supposed to eat one or twice a week. And, uh, you know, I don't know how accurate that is, so I'd rather feed them once every two weeks. That's not that bad, you know. Especially since my snake's already been used to that schedule. So there will be a feeding video on Friday, hopefully, if my stepdad's not in the room. And I can get the whole process down. I don't know what I just dropped, guys. Sorry about that. And he's also, like, um, I don't know, but he just got a lot of things wrong. And my regular dad did, too. He's like, you get it. The snakes get as easy if they stay in water too long. My snake bathes in water all the time, and it's actually one of the most healthy snakes that my stepdad's ever seen. He's like, wow, it's actually pretty healthy. And, you know, it's not that hard to determine a snake's health, to be honest with you. And she seems pretty healthy. She shed recently, which is, uh, she's not very aggressive. I don't want to handle her just because I did have the dead rat in her cage today. Uh, I did try to dangle it in front of her, and she didn't even go for it either. I mean, she got in the S, she was about to hit it, but nothing happened. She, she, the, the rat's foot kind of touched her on the neck. She was like, what? Yo! What are you doing to my mate? And she, like, freaked out and uh, hit out. But I'm getting a bigger terrarium for her. I know a lot of the couple days has been all about snakes, and I know that's not what my channel's about and everything, but, um, yeah. Got a lot of stuff wrong. And, uh... <gasps> yeah, that was a thing. Also, um... Oh, yeah. they. Uh, I had my airsoft gun with me today, and I was thinking about doing a video. I didn't even mention the fact that I have a mustache right now. Here, let me turn on the light, just in case the light's bad. 
but I was thinking for Friday's video, for uh, for Friday's video, if I can, ugh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. Well, I was thinking that if I can tilt this camera, no, I can't. So, I'm just going to have it, I don't even know, but just thinking. Here, let me just kneel down. Sorry, I'm kind of being bipolar. I was thinking, like, freaking, like, tactical mustache, man. I don't know if you guys can see the light, but it's aimed literally right at the camera. So it'd be sick. It'd be like, Mustache Man. Do, do, do. And we got like slow motion. He's got a bandana. And he's all like, boom, boom. Shook, shook. You know, I was thinking my mom gets arrested. I don't know. I got ideas. Won't take me that long because my editing's bad. But, uh, uh, just in case you guys don't know what my air sucking looks like, it's pretty big. You know, I actually prefer to hold it when I'm moving. Like this, like you know, when I'm moving around, but when I'm uh, you know, in a tactical position, I'm like do do do, hurt a little bit like that. But when I'm like running, I prefer to hold it like that. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. Uh, I don't have any gun training. I know you're carrying a firearm and you don't have any gun training. What's wrong with you? Um, so I'm probably gonna get some hate for that. I'm gonna put that back. Mustache, muscle man. Uh. So, uh, I don't know what I have to do without the black tip. I'm just gonna do the rest of the video like this. I don't even care. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. And sorry for the short, uninteresting video. Um, literally, there was nothing going on today that really interests me. Uh, that's it. Also, another thing about Facebook and girls, they're so stupid. This girl that I liked during summer school, I'll admit it, she's not going to watch it, so I don't care. Liked her during summer school, she went out with this black dude for like two weeks, and now she's like, I'm so depressed, he meant so much to me. I was like, one, it's two weeks, two, you're 14, and three, I bet you guys didn't even kiss like once. No. Nobody cares. Really don't care. Girls are bipolar. All girls are bipolar. I don't even care who you are. All bipolar. All of you are bipolar. And at one point, we'll have an emo phase. Don't care how much it is, but... Happen. Also, I got called adorable like seven times today. I was about to karate chop somebody like, no, even no, mustache karate chop. Don't mess with me, I'm bad. No, but uh, so many people called me adorable today. It was awful. I hated it. So that's all I had to talk about. See you guys later. Triple back flip. <laughs>